Have you ever wondered where your recycling goes? Welcome to the Waste Management Material Recovery Facility, or MRF, in Tampa, Florida. This MRF opened in January of 2012 and is able to process 10,000 tons of material a month. Your local recycling truck likely goes to a MRF like this one. As trucks arrive, they park on the scale to weigh the load of recyclables. Then the truck moves to the tipping floor to unload. This facility can process 25 tons of recyclables per hour, and up to 500 tons per day. After the truck is unloaded, heavy equipment moves the material onto the feed line. Then these recyclables move into the MRF. Here they enter a pre-sort area where workers remove plastic bags and other non-recyclable items. Now recyclables move into a mechanical sorting area with spinning discs. As these discs remove cardboard from the stream, you will notice cardboard floating across the top of the discs. Once separated, the cardboard moves across the MRF and into an area where it is compressed into bales and prepared for shipping. Recyclables begin moving into different directions throughout the MRF. Most paper products head to another screening area where more manual sorting is done. Then these products move into another set of spinning discs. Paper products exit the main sorting area after this process where they are manually screened prior to entering underground bunkers. Then these products are eventually baled. Throughout the screening process, glass is crushed and shredded paper is also removed. Both products are moved to a holding area for shipping. Various recyclables move throughout the MRF on a series of conveyor belts. Clear plastics are mechanically removed from the process and there is a final screening. The remaining items move through a manual sorting area, then head over to an optical eye. This eye measures the density of plastic and uses a puff of air to sort certain plastics. As metals move through the MRF, a magnet pulls cans from the sorting process and an eddy current removes the aluminum. Once everything has been sorted into the bunkers, the separate streams of recyclables are sent to the balers. The baler compresses the recyclables into cubes for shipping. The bales are sorted and stored prior to shipping. Shipping companies arrive to haul the baled recyclables to other locations. Forklift operators move around the storage area to gather the requested material for the shippers. The baled recyclables are then stacked inside the trailers. Once the trailer is full, the shipper's truck is then weighed and the recyclables leave to be born in the new products. I just want to give a huge thank you to Waste Management Recycles Tampa for giving me a tour of your impressive facility.